WSLS 10's Patricia Martellotti explains, uh, uh, joins us now rather, live from Roanoke Blacksburg Airport. So Patricia, you have been uh, looking into the airport gun policies and what are you finding out? Well, good evening, John. Currently, TSA policies allow firearms to be checked in. However, since the airport shooting on Friday, many are now questioning those rules. According to the TSA, passengers at the nation's airports are allowed to transport unloaded guns in their checked baggage. It varies from airlines slightly, but the base procedure uh, is that the firearm needs to be unloaded. It needs to be put in a hard-sided container that must be locked. The suspected shooter at Friday's deadly scene checked his gun in by baggage claim on his flight using proper TSA protocol. But when he arrived in Florida, police say he got the gun, loaded it, and began shooting in baggage claim, killing several people. Travelers are now concerned over policies for weapons checked into luggage. I don't think they ought to allow uh, uh, ammunition. I don't mind empty weapons, but ammunition is a whole other thing. Roanoke Airport officials say some travelers accidentally bring weapons through security. Mary Goosby, who's traveling to Chicago, wants the TSA policies on weapons to be changed altogether. As soon as you deplane and you can go and pick it out, and nobody's standing over your shoulder to see if you picked out the ammunition or not. And so you can do with it what you will, and he did, and it's very, very sad. TSA has not yet released information on future policy changes. Reporting live in Roanoke, Patricia Martellotti, WSLS 10.